To celebrate with the one year anniversary of the Bit Squad, we are going to be giving away $1,000 in Bitcoin for the months of March and April, along with two Nano Ledger S's. An extra $100 prize will be available for those who join the Telegram group. Like and comment on every video in March and April for the maximum number of entries. You must be a subscriber to win. Hey, Bit Squad, welcome to the channel. So don't forget to like and comment on this video to enter our contest. We're giving away $1,000 in Bitcoin, actually over that. Uh, so if you're in the IOST community, you want to be part of that, hey, you can convert that BTC over to IOST and come vote for me. How about that? Didn't even mean for that to rhyme, and it did. So, okay, guys, here's what I want to talk about today. Okay, there has been some, I think, misunderstandings about uh, there's a big announcement regarding IOST, and it is in regards to the iWallet Chrome extension. Now, a lot of people thought that you could get this wallet extension, and then you could use that to vote on the IOST mainnet, but that's actually not true. Now, the iWallet is very, very, very useful in terms of being a wallet for you. So, here I've got it pulled up. If you just Google iWallet uh, Chrome extension, it should come up. Uh, and then you look up here in the right hand side of my browser, I've already got it installed. Basically, I would click iWallet, okay? And then it shows however much I've got in there. Just got a little bit in there right now. If you wanted to send from here, you would hit send. If you wanted to deposit, you would deposit. It's pretty easy, right? But the thing is, is you cannot use this wallet to vote on the IOST mainnet. To do that, you have to go to the IOST BIS voting page. So if you wanted to send money from your iWallet over to your BIS exchange account, then at that point, you could go ahead and vote. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is the iost.bis.com. This has all of the nodes on the system. Uh, this is the top 49. They're all junk. Uh, don't worry about the top 49. You want to go right here to number 67 and vote for your boy. So, okay, so this is a BitBoy Crypt. That is my account here. You guys can see uh, you can vote for me right now. I'm coming in at 67. I think the top 78 are elected at the current moment. So you want to vote for me, but you don't know how to do it. So this is what you got to do. You got to go to the BIS exchange. So it is BIS.com. Um, and it, you don't really need what's up there in the address bar after that. Just go to bis.com. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create an account. Obviously, very easy to create an account. Everyone knows how to create an exchange account or you wouldn't be in crypto, I'm sure. Uh, and you want to hit check balance here. So when you hit check balance, it's going to list all of the things that this exchange has on it. Now, down at the bottom, you can see IOST. So if you want to send money to IOST, you would hit or uh, to your IOST account on BIS. You just hit deposit, then you're going to want to determine whether you have the ERC20 still and have not done the token swap, or you want to deposit the IOST mainnet token. So um, that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to click that. We're going to hit IC, go to deposit. Now, this is what you need. This is what you're going to input into your exchange or your wallet where you're going to be sending your IOST to. So this is the deposit address. Uh, all you do is just hit copy and it copies for you. Very convenient. And then you paste it into the address. Now, IOST does not use crazy combinations of letters and numbers for your address. It's actually something you can remember. So this one is BIS IOST. Now that address is for an exchange. So the only way the exchange is going to know that these are your coins is going to be if you click copy here and you paste that memo. That memo is like your specific address on the exchange, if that makes sense. So you're going to want to use the deposit address, the memo, and then you're going to want to put the amount in. Once you do that, it's going to send over to your account. You see, I made two transactions yesterday, uh, one for like, you know, 66,000, one for about 8,000 um, in IOST. So once you do that, then you would go to balances and boom, it would be right here in your balance. Now, of course, I didn't actually do a transaction there, so it's not actually in there. This is for demo purposes only. So then we go back to the voting. You go to number 67 or wherever I'm at. That's the only place you want to go to vote, obviously. Uh, I feel like I'm throwing shade at the other nodes. I'm not, but I do want you to vote for me. So you would hit vote. Now, if the money is in your account currently, in your BIS account, you're going to have to do an asset transfer. You can't just vote. This number up here would show zero. So you'd have to go to asset transfer. And then however many you deposited, you would just type that deposit amount in 
and then hit transfer and vote and boom, you voted for me. Now, if you already have money sitting here in your account, like let's say that you had already voted and you wanted to you know, unfreeze those votes and vote for somebody else, as soon as you would do that, then it would say available votes here. As you can see, I've only got 22 available right now. You have to have at least a thousand tokens to vote on the system. So I just have 22, it won't work right now. But basically you would just type that number in, 22, and hit boom vote. As you can see there, it says at least 1,000 for each vote or for each voting uh, transaction. But you would just hit vote and boom, that's it. That is how you vote on IOST. You've got to go through IOST.biz.com. You have to transfer your IOST over to the BIS exchange first. And that is how you do it. So I'm going to be doing a bigger review, a full in-depth review on IOST very soon. But I felt like this was kind of a time sensitive thing. A lot of people wanted to know how to actually vote on the mainnet. So I want to show this to you guys. Hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget, vote for me. All right, guys, we will uh, talk to you guys later. BitBoy out.